Today we'll be taking a tour of the renovations to the Robinson Model Basin to the second floor where we have built faculty housing uh, for faculty that can now stay on campus uh, during the year. First, a little history on the Robinson Basin. It was built in 1947. The ground floor is where all the action takes place for our naval architecture curriculum, testing ship models, towing them through the water. But on the second floor, we've had student dorms over the last 50 years or so, and we've converted them into faculty housing, which we'll show you today. We've also taken the opportunity to renovate the facade, putting in new windows, of course, and repointing the bricks. Let's go take a tour of the building. Those of you who might remember the Robinson dorms of old, this would have been a very dark place with uh, set off by doors, with dark floors. We've opened it up, we've lightened it up, and we're gonna go into the apartments, but in the meantime, we'll show you plenty of storage here for tenants in the corridor and a washer and dryer for the uh, tenants to use. We'll now enter unit one, which is a three bedroom, two bath apartment. In the entry vestibule, we have a large coat closet off to the side. And as we pass through, we go into the living and dining area. Off to the right, we have a living room, space for a couch and TV. In the middle here, space for a dining room table. There will be a chandelier delivered next week. And off to the end here, is our kitchen with space for stools underneath the counter. And we have, of course, all new appliances, a lot of storage here uh, for those that will move in. On the left, we have a water dispenser with water filters to cope with Long Island waters. Off to the side of the kitchen, we have the door to the outside deck. This is a very large space, as you can see. It is basically 40 feet by about 12 feet. And not only is it a great outside space, it has a tremendous view of Long Island Sound that you can see in the distance down there, down towards the Webb Beach. You can just make out the rowing shells uh, at the end of the pier down there. This will be almost doubling the living space during the summer months for those living inside. It's a really great space. Proceeding now down towards the bedroom area. We pass first by the linen closet for those that need to store linens, of course, and pass into the main bedroom at the end with ample light on both sides. And off to the side of the main bedroom is the main bedroom bath with a very nice shower and ample storage space both above and below. And next to the bath is a, an extremely large walk-in closet with hanging space on the left and shelving space to the right. Walking back down the corridor, we come to the second bedroom Again, looking out over our courtyard and over towards the gym. And this one also has inside a large closet with both hanging and shelving on the right. And then passing back down the corridor towards the main living space, we have the second bathroom. This one with tub and shower and handhelds, of course, and the same arrangement with storage above and below. And then passing through here, we come to the third bedroom or perhaps an office for those that work from home. A good size office, including a good view of Stevenson Taylor Hall uh, off to the left. So that's unit one. We're now going to go across the hall to unit two. Unit two is a two bedroom, one bath unit. 
And again, we have in the entry, a coat closet off to the side. And we enter the living space with space for a couch over here. A TV is mountable on the opposite wall. Space for a dining room table. Chandelier is coming next week. Again, space for stools underneath the kitchen counter. And again, a full kitchen. This time, this kitchen is looking out towards Long Island Sound, actually behind the tree that you have outside the door, but giving a lot of light to the room and all of the necessities for a kitchen, including a very nice pantry for all of your foodstuffs on the side here. As we pack, pass back through the corridor, we come to the bath in the unit, and this is a tub and shower combination. Again, with all of the storage space that we uh, can use during our lives. Passing down the corridor again, we have a linen closet off to the side. And we enter then the two bedrooms, first going in the larger of the bedrooms. This is the main bedroom in this two bedroom unit. Again, with an excellent view of Long Island Sound from out of the window. And plenty of storage space here. Again, both hanging and shelving. Passing to the second bedroom in the unit, we can of course right away see Stevenson Taylor Hall out through one window. And again, a beautiful view of Long Island Sound through the other window. And again, we have here ample storage capacity. Now that we're done with Unit 2, we're going to go to Unit 3 just next door. Unit 3 will be available for those visiting the campus. We host uh, many speakers at Webb, and we would like to give them a space where they can stay with us when they visit the campus. And for other visitors, uh, available for rental uh, on short term, um, including parents, trustees and others that uh, would like to visit this wonderful place. Let's go inside. We enter unit three. This will be a furnished unit. Um, that furniture will be coming in the third week of March. We will have the living area here. There will be two chairs, a, a coffee table, side table, a bench, and right here will be a dining table with two chairs. So that accompanies this uh, kitchen where you can do all the cooking you need um, while living here. Off to the side, we have a bedroom for those staying here. And it can be closed off from the living room by this barn door for privacy. And of course, a closet for those that need to put their clothing away. And we have in Unit 3 a bathroom, of course, with a full shower and handheld. And tucked behind the door, plenty of linen storage space. And there you have the tour of the Webb faculty apartments, newly renovated. The first uh, professor will be moving in in about two weeks. So we're all ready to go and happy to have them on board on the Webb campus. Thank you.